<laughs> That's your first time using the angle grinder as well, isn't it? <laughs> so push, put a bit of pressure on to start it. You're gone. Oh, right, just a minute. Yep, beautiful. Hi there, Delroy the Spark again. If I gave you three guesses, if I said to you I'm back on the job that I've been to before, where do you reckon that would be? Yep, the brewery. I'm back at the brewery. Or the distillers, the, the um, vodka distillers that used to be. What's happened now is that apparently they've knocked everything down and cleared it because when they bought, when they uh, were using the place, they formed it into different areas. But now they've got going to have to put it back as it was when they first got it. So they want me to reinstate some lighting and some sockets and stuff like that so i'm going to go in there and i've just come to have a look to see what they want done first of all i won't be doing the work today but i'm going to see what they want okay hopefully film it and let you see see you in a minute there we are right <laughs> this was the main area where you had all them tanks and the little switch room was over in that corner there. So most of the lighting is up, but I think there's a few more to go in. Mm. Need to find out what they want doing. So you want um, one light over there, one in the middle here, one there, just like this. One, two, three. Yeah? Exactly. Right, okay. And lights here to come down. Yeah. What are three fluorescents? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah? That f a burglar alarm fire sensor thing. Yeah. Get rid of it. And if that, same with that as well. On that well, side. I might have to alter the conduit there. So it might, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to need one. Is that, is that this sound? That will be here. You can okay, use that. yeah, that's cool. That's, that's cool. That's my left here. Will all this be out the way? All this stuff on the floor? Yeah, it's going to be out the way. When are you going to start the work? Um, no. That's no, good. No. All right, all this gone. Yeah. Monday, come in. That's, yeah? Yeah, that's yeah. fine then. All right. That, that, Conduit. Yeah. That one over there. And the, 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 the above one, because there's nothing running through it. That was just put up to hang pictures from. Right. Would would you be able to reuse it? Oh, this? yeah. We well, should be able to use, re reuse yeah. some of them. Yeah. But how many sockets are there? Right. So. You've already said three on this wall, three on that wall. Yeah. And, then just keep, and then just keep the same spaces. All along, to the end. To the end, yeah. Take it. Hello, uh, Delroy the Spark here again. I'm uh, back at the distillery, come to do, um, do the reinstatement of uh, the sockets and the lights as I went over the other day. And I got my old mate a deal with me. Stuff there was supposed to be clear, but it's not. <laughs> so, gonna have to run, link up that conjure. All the way down there, all the way around there, all the way up to there. Got the old vice and bender out. <laughs> Didn't know I'd need all that again, but yep. And uh, they want me to reuse some of this conjure where I can. So we'll see how it goes. Right, a deal. So this is your first time doing conjure on a job. You've done it in college, you said, yeah? Yeah years ago, but you've never actually done it on a job. Yeah. Okay, mate, so what we're gonna, you see this, right? Now, I went to a site once to look at a job, I was gonna, and I saw this geezer, he was cutting me, um, metal trunking, and he was using an angle grinder to do it. I never, I, I thought, oh, that's a, that's, a good, that's a good way of doing it, instead of having to axe it. Mm. I started doing it with the, cutting the conduit with it. But if you're working on a building site, I don't, you can't do that. You have to use a cutter. You can't have sparks flying everywhere. <laughs> but this is empty, it's just me and you. So we, it's quicker, just get it done quicker. So. <laughs> That's your first time using the angle grinder as well, isn't it? So um, let's uh, get the thread on it. So what you want to do, put your foot on the thing, because this floor is quite slippery. So, so push, put a bit of pressure on to start it, you're gone. 
Oh, this minute. Yep, beautiful. Julie, you've got um, tallow. It's a sort of fat thing that you put on here to do it, but I ain't got none of that, I run out, so just use some easing fluid. That's, that's just as good, I think. <laughs> I've never, I've never used easing fluid before, but I just thought, I was looking for the tallow on the van, I couldn't find any, so I thought, that's, just use that. Hold up, is that tight? Because we don't want this turning. Um, another thing, um, hold up there. When you see just protruding outside the, the, the dye, then I think you've got enough. Go a bit more, go a bit more. I was trying to explain to you. So this is going to go between the, the two boxes, yeah? So we've already, we've already got our, our coupler on that end. Socket. When I say socket, that's what that is. Because back in the day, that's what we used to say, socket and bush. Now, when I say, when I say to the old sailors, some sockets and bushes, they don't, I said, okay, couplers. <laughs> so yeah, couplers, yeah. So what I was trying to say to you, you got that? There we go. Right, so I was saying to you, yeah, we marked it from box to box. That coupler was on it. So we measured from that coupler to here, yeah? That's to the box. We measured from the coupler to there, right? So what, we've got, what we need to do is cut it here and thread it to about there. So there's our coupler, right? So by the time you cut it in the middle there, thread it to there, um, as a matter of fact, you went over a little, so, by the, yeah, that's fine. So by the time you cut it and thread it, we screw it on, we should end up there, yeah? Cool. Right, just a little update. We've um, got our boxes up and conjure it around to there. Fit, fitting against this thing here is not very good. So I was trying with these, to get it with these self-tapping screws, but they're no good. They are uh, sort of, when you get it right in, it's, it keeps turning. So I ended up having to go to um, B&Q, got those screws, these little screws here. So we put a little hole, little pin hole through, and then tighten it, use that. But when I was doing it first of all, the screw just kept turning. So I went and got some washers, bring it out a little bit, and it goes really nice and tight. So that's the best we could do there. These are, this is nice and firm, not moving, whereas before it was moving. So we've got right round to here, and we would have we would we would have finished this, but we um, ran out of bushes and bushes and and um, couplers and bushes. <laughs> just, just need a couple, <laughs> but um, tomorrow we can start the wiring, get these two last sockets in, and start the wiring. But you know what, Adil? I think that's a rubbish way to do it. Yeah. yeah. When you're covering this type of distance, you're better off running trunking. Yeah. Metal trunking, mm -hmm. sockets on top or underneath, and then it's more flexible. You might need to add other, other circuits, you know? You know, just running conjure along like that, I think is just a waste of time. You know, you have to think in the future when you want to add to other things. Anyway, that's how they wanted it, and um, we've done what they wanted. Ah, come in tomorrow and get on with it. Right, a deal. So, um, we've done all this round here, yeah? Done all that. Got all our points in, all that. So now what we're gonna do is start the wiring, which 
is going to start from here. Adil. You know what, Adil? What we need to do, because what we're going to do, we're going to do a leapfrog system. Yeah? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool, yeah. Because you've got to leave enough for us to tie on to the other, yeah. All right. Yeah, smooth that round. So we got all our cables in, little loops hanging out to be connected. There's good old Adil doing all the connections. Everything's going okay, yeah? yeah. That's all good, mate. Yeah, it's all good. Sparky again. Um, yeah, just finished early today. Um, Adil, all oh, Adil's coming on good. He's real. He's a good geezer. He's good worker. Good, good guy. All round good guy. You know, I know that I can leave him and he'll just get on with the work. He'll probably do more than I expect. You know, really good, reliable. We um, got to do reorganisation with the lighting. Got quite a bit to do here, and then the EICR. Yep. So um, hopefully we can. Film it all and let you see, okay? Thanks for watching, see you again. Um, we are back at the uh, vodka place, doing some alterations. Um, well, reinstatement, actually. We're putting in some fittings. I'll just show you. you no, know we finished our conduit run for, the, for all the sockets the other day. So now we've took down, there was a row of light fittings up there. We've took them down, there the cables hanging. We've got to do a straight line and put up two fittings to match up with what's there. Got to reinstate this switch. <laughs> it's got to go down the wall down there and link up to this conduit here, so it's plastic to metal. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get on with it and uh, see how it goes. So that's how we're getting on here. Uh, I had to rejig that fitting in the middle here. That one. We ran that, reinstated that line of conduit. Same thing over here. We had to uh, redo this bit of conduit here. Put a box in for that fitting. And we had to do that one as well. These two have got to come down. Another, another one of these um, fittings is going to go here. Switch line's got to come down, go over to the switch over there. We have to fit a five foot fitting in this position here. These two fittings here, they're going to come down and we just put blank plates over those um, box lids. Right, um, the, what we've done so far, put these three fittings here. They were not there, so we had to reinstate them. To alter the wiring, as you can see, we've got a coil of wire there. We see those boxes, we've got to put hanging fittings, one there, one there, and one there, that little emergency light that you can see up there, that's coming down. Those little um, emergency lights were all over the place, so we had to take them down, they weren't even taken down. Yeah, we had four hanging fittings on change, chains, those um, dome type of fittings. There was one there, one there, two in each row. Those had to come down and we had to reinstate um, this type of light there, which we've partly done on this side. This side was identical. You had four, no, six hanging metal fittings. We've had to take them down, um, redo the conduit up there and hang these um, fittings here. So we've done that one and that one. Uh, we've got to put a line of co 
conjure, we have to line it up with this row, because that's what we've had, to, we've had to do. We've had to redo the conjure to line, it, line this, this fit in here with this row. And then we had to um, do the same here, move this over, line it up with that row. This row of fittings here, we have to put one fitting here in line. Okay, we've got our cables up there ready. Got to run a bit of conjure down there. But we're having problems getting fittings, um, fixings to that um, corrugated. It's just plastic, that. Um, so we're having problems getting fixings there. So <clears throat> today, we're going to concentrate on trying to get that line of conjure down, cross, and then put this fitting up. So we'll get on, see how it goes, and hopefully we can film it and let you see. Right, we had a bit of a problem uh, with this light here. Conjure there, we've got the conjure up there, but we need to get the conjure from that box to come and line up there, but we was having a bit of problem there. So <coughs> we had to leave that and um, we went over to the other side. We managed to get this fitting up here because we had to alter the wiring, cut a through boxing up there and all that. So we've got this in, got our wires to there, got to bring it to that fit in there, join up with these wires up there and then get that one up and then bring these cables up there, cut a box in for the two fixings for the light um, but it's the way it's wired, we, it was a bit, I don't know how they've done it, why they did it the way they did, we had a bit of a problem. Over there it was the, the, with the conduit, over here was a circuitry, but we sorted that almost. We started from there, we're going to, once we get this one up, um, and get these two working, then we'll finish here. So we do it bit by bit and that way we'll sort out the wiring easier, so hopefully keep you See you next time.